the appropriations bill, as we know, I mean, is a pivotal financial legislation. It is on the horizon, um, carrying out the weight of Ireland's fiscal um, decisions. As the year end approaches, this legislation uh, serves a dual role, providing legal uh, backing to the 2023 expenditure and indeed authorising the capital carry over of funding from 2023 to 2024. That's a very important mechanism. But it's very important that this, this uh, funding, uh, that, that, that we deal with these issues here. And he, so the minister has gone there like a snow off a ditch because he doesn't ever, so disrespectful, uh, the senior minister to our group. Any time it happens, but now, and he's the fellow once a European commissioner. With this kind of a report card from the, from the, from the different bodies, the watchdogs, the Fiscal Council and the, the OECD and everybody else, I think he, he, he's back to school he'll be going. And national school, I say as well. To think that we can play these games here with, with financial uh, situation of money, especially with the HTC, shot two men, three card tricks has been described as by one of the watchdogs. And um, the cuts that are in health and the massive runaway budget, but to be shot two bill, uh, two bill and it's unbelievable ever before the budget is even brought in. Then we have infrastructure projects up and down the country. The N24, now to be M24 upgrade, is now they're talking about building a, Minister Ryan, your colleague, he didn't want it at all, at all but he wants now to build a, a pony in Cat Road, back to 100 years ago, a build that talks a single carriage away again. Every whole project in rural Ireland, Every whole um, Irish water, schemes like Clanmel, waiting will be waiting another 15 years, 2030 we're told, or 2035 before we'll have a project with water from the river. So you have money for everything. Man of heaven, man, all you want here is play, play games with it. As I said, the trick had trick, Tom Foley, I call it the way you're dealing with money here, but you would think the people are stupid. But the people know what's going on, the watchdogs know what's going on, and thankfully they are speaking out now, as I said, uh, about the way you're dealing with these budgetary issues. It's just it's a, a shocking situation to think that you can um, announce budgets with no money to back him up, and promise everything, and regurgitate, and there's been doctors, regurgitate everything else as well. So we have whole infrastructure, Minister, you're, you're demonising the farmers and all about, about water pollution, and in actual fact, 90, I'd say 9% of the pollution is caused by local authorities, public authorities, some industry, and the EPA are negative, are negative in their duties because they won't look there at all. They'll go after the farmer and try and demonize them. So the, the, the trick hat trick and four card trick and all the tricks you want to play is just not good enough. And we need to uh, get accountability in here. Thankfully, we have a debate and this all be short. We don't have debates normally, it's just past the figures and the way you go on a wink and a nod. But uh, you should hang your heads in shame. And if you think there's in that minister, the Minister of Public Expenditure out to Brussels representatives, is God help us and God help Ireland because the Greek hard tricks, he can't face questions or criticism here. He have the arrogance and the pomp to tell us we don't know anything. He knows it all. He'll find out in Europe. They'll find him out before he even arrives there. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy. Deputy.